there's not many bands who can continue to put out quality albums the way that we do, I think. You know, in, in the death metal world, it's pretty much unheard of. All bands have done shit to shit to records. I don't think we have yet. Så här början på inspelningen så man håller på med trummor, det är inte så mycket man kan göra utan det blir mycket cigaretter. Med... Jag har repat den här gången, därför låtarna är klara så att det är inget jobb istället. Man rökar. Jag hoppas jag borde göra det. Vi har gjort, jag tror det är... Det är tre recordings och fyra album i Gothenburg och vi har besluttat att det är tid att gå någonstans annars. And we're talking about recording in in uh, Texas in the United States, but that's a great studio that we were looking at in El Paso. But it, um, it's easier to be close to home, basically, because it's cheaper. You know, Swedish studios are cheap, and uh, it's easier to just pack everybody in a van and then leave, and you you you're in the studio. It just takes us two hours to go there. Um. Uh, I'm I'm happy with the the album overall. I think it's a good collection of songs, um, good sound, good production, uh, good performance by everybody. I'm very happy with my vocals on this one, especially clean vocals. Um, I think they sound like a, I actually can sing. Dreams are real. I was kind of worried in a way that I'm going pussy. You know, I can't do the the meanest, most evil sounding screams anymore. But uh, I could. And they are very, very good. I think it's one of my best performance vocal vibes overall on this new album. songs I'm really happy with. We, we were able to rehearse for the first time since I can't even remember. So the band knew, you know, knew more about the material. I knew more about the material and I spent more time writing these songs. I was more, you know, went more into the small details. All the songs were pretty much finished by the time we entered the studio. So, you know, it's it's obvious it's going to come out better, at least for us, you know. I feel more happy with this album than I've done in a long time, pretty much.
the addition of Paris uh, for us as a band, uh, you know, it's the most important thing that happened to us in a, you know, forever, I guess. Uh, Paris, uh, the best musician in the band. He's uh, super professional when it comes to his playing and everything. And uh, you feel inspired. I feel inspired when I, you know, see him play. And uh, he's been a professional musician for almost twenty years, I think. And he knows how to play. You know, you get the feeling he knows everything. keyboards I was one of those guys I didn't like keyboards in the beginning but since I got into the whole progressive rock thing you know I started to to appreciate and even love some of these sounds and uh, that's basically why we did Save Damnation that record and uh, since we toured for Damnation we needed someone to play the keyboards and Pair we, we know him from from spiritual beggars and you know I know he's I knew he was a terrific musician and that's really what, what he is, you know. Uh, we started playing with him and everybody's like, wow, we need him in the band. Good morning, Peter. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Värsta jag vet. Hatar du det? Ja, det är jag. Varför gör du det? Jag hatar det. Hur kan man hata det? Det kan inte vara, det kan inte vara värre än krig. Jo. <laughs> det är det faktiskt. För krig drar du bara andra in till dig. Han vill att du kan spela keyboards, obviously. Bättre än någon jag vet. Och han kan sjunga. Han har en great like, rock type of voice. Old man's rock. And uh, he can play the guitar, you know, better than me, basically. Not really. That kind of, you know, energy injection in this band. We got we gotten a little bit jaded with the whole thing, you know. And me, you know, I I never want to find myself in a position where I write for the purpose of doing a record. I want to write for the purpose of coming up with something extraordinary. And having Perry in the band helped me to write this new album quite a lot. Even though it's by no means a, a keyboard-based record, it. it that instrument influenced this album and helped me to see new ways on how to write these songs, you know, and it was very interesting and, you know, he's great, you know, I love him. Lopez has not been doing well, you know, for quite a long time. As you know, most people know that about his anxiety attacks and his mental health is not great, to be honest.
we had many, many long talks, me and him, you know, sometimes he's like, I'm not sure if I want to continue with this band. And the next day he's like, I'm so happy I'm in this band if it wasn't for this, you know. So at this time, we don't really know what's going to happen with, with Lopez. I'm hoping that he will um, recover and find his way back into the band, you know. So fun, so fun to play. Uh, he's a great, great guy, you know, he's part of this family, you know, and uh, he's a terrific drummer, as everybody knows. So obviously we, we want him to find that kind of spark again, you know, that he want to play drums. He's a born drummer. He's a natural talent. She was the one who opened to the room and said you have to live before you die young. We sent him back home. Uh, we did the sounds of the underground tour and uh, basically he wasn't fit to play. Um, we thought it was when we went out for that tour, and uh, we realized, and he realized that uh, you know he didn't. I think he couldn't keep his food in his, you know, he was eating, but he couldn't keep it. So he got thinner and and physically weaker uh, by by the day, basically. And uh, we came to a point where I think the level of his drumming just reached a level where it wasn't good enough, you know. And uh, we decided with him, uh, we had a big meeting, and uh, we decided he should go home and uh, basically recover. Ah! 